If you're looking to create an online course on your own website, Thrive Apprentice is the right way to go about this. And in this video, I'm going to show you the latest features that were added by our development team to Thrive Apprentice. So here are the highlights of this video. First of all, the author description box can now be designed in Thrive Apprentice without having to use any of the WordPress settings. Second of all, the course topics can now be displayed either as images or as font awesome icons. Then you can now enable a feature which allows your modules and chapters to have a collapsible structure. And last but not least, if you're using SendOwl with Thrive Apprentice, you'll have the ability to completely customize the checkout page for your premium online course. All right, so now let's take a quick closer look at these new features and see what they're all about. We'll start with the author description box. And right now I'm in a random online course that I just set up in Thrive Apprentice. This is the cool thing about Thrive Apprentice. You can quickly set up online courses just like that. And now let's imagine that I have more than just one online course, right? And on different topics as well. This is on healthy eating. And I also have another online course on, let's say, guitar lessons, right? And I want to display a description about myself on these online courses that is relevant to each of them, right? For example, on this one, I want to say about myself that I'm, you know, I have experience with healthy eating and nutrition and stuff like that. And on the other online course, I want to say that I have uh, experience with guitar lessons and stuff like that, right? So that it's relevant to the students of that particular online course, right? Now, how do you do this? Well, definitely not with, with WordPress settings, right? Because there you can only set up a description that will show up everywhere on your website, right? No matter what uh, topic your, uh, your online course is or whatever, right? It will show up everywhere. So you cannot do that there. Instead, what we're going to do is in the uh, online course in Thrive Apprentice, we'll look for this option here called show author settings. All right, and here instead of WordPress user bio, I'll choose custom bio for this course, right? And here I can write a description that will only show up on this online course, right? So that it's really relevant. So I can simply write something like, I have a lot of experience with nutrition, which I don't actually, but for the sake of argument, let's say that my character in this uh, in this video does have in this online course. All right. So uh, now this will only show up on this uh, online course. And let's say that I want to also change the teacher image. Right now, if you've used WordPress, you will know that in order to change your uh, your user image, this was really complicated, right? You had to go to Gravatar, which is a different website, and it was just a completely uh, you know, complicated uh, process. But instead here, all I have to do is click on this image. This takes me to the media library and I can simply choose another image, right? Really simple as it should be. So I can simply choose, let's say this image. This could be me in like 30 years maybe. All right, and now let's see how this looks on the front end for our uh, students of this online course. All right, so this is the front end of the online course. And if I scroll down, there I am. Well, the fake me anyway, the uh, image that I set up and of course the description that I set up. Although in WordPress, I had a different description, right? But this overrides the description and the image that I set up in WordPress, all right? So this is really cool. And you can use this in order to display relevant a description about yourself on each of your online courses. All right, now the second feature, which basically allows these uh, things here, which are basically course topics, right? So they're basically elements that allow you to filter your, uh, your courses, allow your visitors to filter your courses. These icons that you see here can actually be displayed either as images that you choose from your media library 
or as font awesome icons, which is a vast collection of icons. So let's, let me show you how that works. As you can see here, this course is in the general course topic, right? And if I want to change that, for example, I can click on this drop down and let's say that I want to add a new topic, right? I'll click on add new topics and click on add new. And we're going to call this, well, I cannot see what I'm typing, new Tri nutrition okay click away and here i can choose an image very simple from my media library if i have a cool one and i can also choose an icon right and this will open up this vast collection of icons which is the font awesome icon set now if you are not familiar with these we did a video about them a while back and you can check out that video by clicking on the link that shows up on your screen right now and now for nutrition i can choose a bicycle maybe there we go i'm going to display a bicycle for my nutrition category okay and the topic color i'll make it something like orange simple as that right there we have it a new course topic and now i want to include my online course in this course topic so in this area here just select the nutrition topic and now simple as that this is how my online course is going to look like as you can see the wonderful bicycle and the orange color as well and if i click on nutrition here mine is the only online course in that category and it will show up. So this is a really cool feature, right? You can apply font awesome icons to your uh, course topic that you prefer. All right, now moving on to the third feature, as you can see right now, we're on the front end of this online course. And if we scroll down, as you can see this, uh, this is not too much of a big online course, but it's taking up too much space, right? The, the modules and chapters are taking up too much space from the course structure. And what if we want to save some room in there? How can we do that? Well, let me show you exactly how. All we have to do is go in the settings option, click on template settings here. This will send us to this interface and we'll have to click on advanced settings and now simply look for course structure and let's start with collapse chapters as you can see all the chapters have been collapsed and right off the bat the space is you know i have a lot more space now and to to open up to see the lessons in that inside the chapter you have to click on this uh, this text here and you know a very uh, a very nice uh, collapsible animation shows up and if you want to collapse the modules as well we click on that other option and as you can see beautiful animation again our development team and our design team have really done a great job on this because i for one think it, it looks great right and it saves up a lot of space and in my opinion it looks even more professional but it's up to you if you want to use it on your online course uh, or not but I think you should. And now something for you guys that are also Sendal users and you're using uh, Sendal with Thrive Apprentice, you can now completely customize the checkout page. Uh, you know, when your uh, your visitor is looking to, to purchase your uh, premium online course, you, know, you can completely customize that using our editor, right? So here we have uh, a beautiful uh, checkout page that was made by our design team. I mean, you can tell that this was made by a professional designer. Just look at it, right? It's just stunning. And um, first of all, the first thing you can do is change the uh, actual template. You have multiple templates for the checkout element. So you have to click on template here and you can choose another one. But I for one really like this one. I mean, it's just, it looks great. Now, another thing you can do if you want to change, you know, if you want to customize some of the actual elements, you have to click on edit checkout elements and then you can, you know, change the form input or the text or even the icons, the colors, everything. And you can uh, customize different variations of this uh, checkout element. As you can see here, you can change either, uh, you can choose either the, the login form or the password uh, recovery form, whatever. But 
If you want to make some changes to these variations, be extremely careful because A, our design team would be really mad because you change some stuff and it doesn't look good. So you need to be really careful because they really worked hard on this, right? And second of all, you know, you need to match the, the colors and the overall design from one uh, variation to another, right? So my suggestion is that you leave things uh, as they are unless you have, uh, you really have a lot of experience with design and with how these things really work then you can go ahead and change it but if not you know you have a bunch of templates that you can choose from and uh, even even like that you can make your uh, checkout page look really really professional so this is another another feature that that is really cool and that makes this uh, this entire plugin and the the integration with sendout even more uh, effective that's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you'll enjoy these uh, new features uh, in Thrive Apprentice as well. Now, if you're not familiar with Thrive Apprentice, if you haven't used it yet, I recommend you, you take a look at it and uh, see uh, what's it about because it's truly an amazing plugin that you can use to build your online course on your own website and have full control over your online course, you know, as opposed to creating it on different platforms where you don't really have that much control on your online course, right? Now, apart from this, I really hope you also subscribe to our channel so that you're up to date with every new video that we post because we've got some really amazing videos coming up that I know you're gonna be interested in. Now, apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video.